Stephen Sharif just dropped a few interesting bits of information in his latest Q&A he did over on the Theory Forge livestream, addressing a few things on what will and will not be an Alpha 2A launch, along with potentially slipping up on whether or not Ashes of Creation will in fact be dropping Alpha 2 before the end of the year. I've said for a while now that I did not think every Ashes of Creation class would be in Alpha 2 at the launch of it. And now we have confirmation on it thanks to the Theory Forge stream where one of the questions was, will we see the Summoner Bard slash Tolnar at the start of Alpha 2? Which you'll find the whole live stream linked in the description below if you want to check it out. Steven then confirmed that we will in fact not see the Summoner at the start of the next testing phase. This will be an archetype that is added at some point later on in Alpha 2. But we will have the Bard and the Rogue at the launch of Alpha 2. This is somewhat of a surprise in a way for some people as a lot of people thought we would see the Summoner revealed before the Bard. Although it does make sense for the Bard to be included in the start of Alpha 2 as it is something that could be deemed crucial to raid and party setups to get accurate feedback from. We will in fact be getting the Bard though along with the Rogue and I imagine we would potentially see some showcases of these archetypes at some point in upcoming live streams, potentially maybe seeing the Rogue after the nodes. I'm glad the Bard is making its way to Alpha 2 at launch. Like I said, this archetype will be a crucial party component in order for Intrepid to get the best possible testing feedback when it comes to group combat overall. Because as many of you MMO players out there know, it is possible for one class to make or break a dungeon party. But that is not the biggest thing in my opinion to come out of this stream. Although it could just be me and the Copium, Steven did seem to give some pretty unintentional hints about whether or not we could be seeing Alpha 2 testing this year. The first one came when Steven was asked in the same question as the Summoner if we would see the Tolnar model this year. And Steven goes, So I think that um, on the schedule that Bards will be intended to be present at the start of Alpha 2, but Summoners will not. Um, and I believe that the Tolnar uh, will not be this year, uh, but will be next year. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, the models? Just seeing the models? Yes. That might be this year. I don't know. There's some... Okay. There's some... Yeah, there, we, we have the base models for the three unique versions of that right now the tech i think is going between um how we manipulate those versions of the character creator to kind of slide between the the three types mm. um uh, so we, you might see the models for them this year. We'll see. I don't know about you guys, but to me, this seems like it's implying that Alpha 2 will in fact be starting this year, but the Tolnar will not be a part of it. And if Steven wasn't initially referring to the models via livestream, what would he be referring to other than Alpha 2 itself? And why would he even think the need to go back and clarify that if Alpha 2 was not starting this year? This goes back to my whole, I think Intrepid is further along with Alpha 2 launch than we expected that I did the other day. So if you could check that up for more of my crazy evidence. But the other hint was he had stated at one point in the Q&A that UI is something that is normally done towards the back end of development. And then also mentioned at a separate point in the Q&A that UI is something that they are working on implementing right now and tying it into the finished systems. As we've been seeing with the last few months through the developer updates, which could mean they are at the tail end of where they want to be when Alpha 2 launches. Otherwise, throughout the rest of the stream, there was not a whole lot of brand new info for people like me who read my children the ashes of creation wiki every night before bed but there was a few interesting tidbits such as the character creator is getting a refresh whether that already happened last milestone or is in this one steven can't exactly remember but he also reconfirmed that we will have access to this before alpha 2 actually launches to mess around on this could also be what steven was alluding to when referring to the tolnar but if that was the case then that could mean that we could have our hands on the character creator before the end of the year as well the creator going through the refresh stages is pretty interesting to me it could mean that the majority of races are ready to go as we've seen all of the models in game now except the Tolnar so it would not be a surprise to me if they're now getting them working in the character creator with all their unique looks getting ready for Alpha 2. We also learned that naval combat will not be included in Alpha 2's launch and will be added down the road and by the sound of it they haven't really done much work on the actual naval side of things as Steven did say that they have yet to begin working on the physics of how boats will move with the buoyancy on the water and all of that which makes me wonder how long exactly does Intrepid plan to run Alpha 2 for, and if it even
even managed to launch this December. How long does it take for Intrepid to nail down that big of a feature and drop it in the game and then get actual testing on it? Are we going to see Alpha 2 running for more than a year? It seems like potentially that could be the case. Because you're doing this on top of working on everything else they want to bring to Alpha 2, including things like the Summoner Archetype, Castle Sieges, Node Sieges, Freeholds, Questing, Story Arcs, Dungeons, Raids, all of that good stuff. So it'll be kind of a lot to test less than a year, but we also learned that Intrepid does have outside teams that test this as well beyond the Phoenix Initiative. That could be what some of the internal testing they keep referring to is all about. Since you made it this far into the video though, be sure to click that subscribe button and comment down below if you think that Steven was alluding to Alpha 2 dropping this year. Otherwise, if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Era. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.